Who's a Dodger fan? <laughs> For more than eight decades, he was the face of the Los Angeles Dodgers. He was regarded by many as the baseball's most popular ambassador, even coming out of retirement to coach the gold medal winning Olympic baseball team in 2000. Tommy was also generous. Boys and girls, I have to tell you, not only did I teach there and went to school there, but I went to school right here at Nicholas Junior High. Any Nicholas alumni? And in 1976, a very long time ago, I was here in Junior High and one of Tommy's friends, Mr. Slothauer, they call him Slotsy, they were good friends and he offered tickets to the teacher, Mr. Slothauer, to take a lot of students to Dodger baseball, and I was one of those students that got to pile in his large car, and in 1976, I was able to see my first Dodger game because of the gift of the tickets from Tommy Lasorda, and he did that for many, many students here at Nicholas Junior High. He also came to the campus. He was known around Fullerton. He loved Giovanni's Pizza right over here. Uh, so we are honored that his family's here. We have a special uh, ceremony that we're going to present. Let's see if we everybody. We have Laura Lasorda, Tommy Lasorda's uh, daughter, and she has a few words for you. Congratulations on a new season, and I hope everybody's winners at the end. I wanted to uh, just give my thanks to the assembly member, Sharon Quicksilva, the Department of Transportation, for uh, making this signage happen and everything that's going on today. I also want to thank the Dodger organization, Eric Karos. And um, Kristen McCowan for making this all happen today. And I'm so glad to see everyone. And I'm very happy that this is happening. And I'm glad I could be with you today. Thank you. All right, that is Laura Lasorda. And now we have Dodger player Eric Carroll. like a Dodger. Not only is he a good player, but he's good looking! <laughs> Eric Carroll. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I'm happy to be here. Let me just tell you one thing. I am not late. I was told 10 o'clock, so I'm early. Hey, anyhow, this is great to be out here today on the opening of uh, Little League and obviously the dedication of the freeway, but this is what I have in my hand here from the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's a check on behalf of the organization. We're going to donate it to the West Fullerton Little League, that's you guys, for $2,500. Hey, before I get going here, I've got to introduce some uh, former Dodgers here as well. And, and guys that uh, Tommy uh, impacted. We've got uh, Bobby Valentine right over there. He's with the Angels. You see him on TV. Yeah. Yeah. Glenn Hoffman used to manage the Dodgers. He's a third base coach for the Padres for many years, playing the big leagues. And of course, one of Tommy's favorite players, Jerry Royster, former manager of the big leagues as well. So real quick, I, I know you guys are excited, it's opening day. Um, we're here and we want to talk about Tommy Lasorda. Now all you guys, the kids, you may not know Tommy, go home and Google him. Or talk to your parents. The Hall of Fame manager, Hall of Fame person, and somebody that impacted not only me, but these gentlemen over here, and obviously, this wonderful young lady, his daughter, Laura Lasorda. There's two things. First, I'm going to talk to the kids real quick. So listen up if you can. I know you want to get playing. But you're out here playing Little League, and you want to go out and have fun. You're with your friends. 
One thing Tommy used to always tell us is you got to believe. You got to believe. You got to believe in yourself. You got to believe that you can get that hit. You got to believe that you can feel that ground ball. You got to believe that you can make that pitch. Always, always believe in yourself and always think that you can do it. And just to tell you that it does work, Tommy, when I was a rookie, my very first game in 1992, I was playing first base for the Dodgers. We're in San Diego, and I'm on deck. San Diego is my hometown. That's where I grew up. That's where I played Little League. Before I go up to the plate, I'm in the on-deck circle, and Tommy says, Eric, come here, come here. And I'm all excited. It's going to be my first at-bat of the season. But Tommy calls me over, so I run back to the dugout. He goes, remember, I used to throw you batting practice all spring long. And I used to throw you that inside fastball. And I've got better stuff than that guy that you're going to face. So look for that fastball inside. And again, I'm real nervous, and I'm thinking, oh, come on, you know. I get up to the plate, and I'll be darned. That first pitch was a fastball inside, and I turned it around and hit it into the seats. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm running to first, and I'm, you know, I'm excited. I did it in my hometown, but more importantly, I'm thinking, Tommy, Tommy believed in me. Tommy believed that it would happen, and he just told me that it would happen. And guess what? It did. And said something that it, the power of belief, kids, all you little guys, Little girls too, believe in yourself. Now, my quick one for the parents here, and I'm gonna steal this from, there's an organization that Tommy is inspired, it's a youth sports organization called Steel Sports. And their mantra, parents, please listen to this, because I promise you, you're gonna have your times this year in the championship game, and it's gonna get hectic and nervous. Kids first. Kids first. That's two things, okay? It's the obvious one. We're all out here for the kids. Kids come first. But also, remember, they're kids first. They're kids first. Have a great experience. Have a great season this year. When you're driving down the highway and you see that Tommy Lasorda sign, remember, you got to believe in kids first. Have a great season. Thanks for having me out here. Thank you, Eric Carroll, Dodger Baseball. All right, folks, we are ready. We've had one surprise with our contribution to West Fullerton Little League, and now we are going to unveil. Where are my unveilers? Right here. These are the signs you're going to see. This is off the 5 freeway at Ball and Lincoln. Uh, check that out. Ready? Five, 